In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the terms ASCII and Unicode for the GCSE Computer Science course. We already know how to convert ordinary decimal numbers into binary code. We simply take the eight place value columns for the binary table, identify which of those numbers we need in order to add up to the total, in this case of 182, and then put ones under each of those numbers filling the remaining columns with zeros. But how can we do the same thing for letters? We understand numbers can become numbers, but how do we turn letters into binary numbers? Every single key on your keyboard has a number associated with it. Every single character that you can type can be translated into a decimal number. For example, the character capital A on your keyboards becomes the number 65. This is a standard and is globally recognised. It's part of the ASCII table. Every letter, every symbol and every number on your keyboard has a corresponding number associated with it. So A is always 65. ASCII uses seven bits in other words, the binary numbers representing these letters have seven bits to them. So we use these seven columns to create a possible 127 different numbers, each of which has a number, letter or symbol associated with it. So if we take seven bits like this, we can create a binary number using 64 and 1 to create the number 65, which represents A. So this is the binary representation of the letter A on your keyboard. With 127 different possible numbers, we can represent all of the uppercase letters, all of the lowercase letters, all of the digits 0 to 9, as well as a wide range of symbols. Additionally, there are also commands on your keyboard that are also represented by binary numbers. So the backspace button, escape, tab, the enter key, and also the delete button, which actually is the number 127, the maximum that ASCII can represent. However, there is a problem. Because whilst these 127 different symbols and characters seem fine, they fall far short of the number of characters that we often need to represent. These languages, for example, are not represented in standard ASCII. So how can we represent all these different characters and symbols, as well as the wide range of emotes, emojis, or whatever you'd like to call them? The answer is that we use Unicode. Now, Unicode is exactly the same thing as ASCII for all of the characters 0 to 127. But Unicode can use more bits than ASCII, and so it can represent a wider range of different symbols. So it can include all of the alphabets, a much, much wider range of symbols, as well as a wide and growing range of emojis. So just to recap then, ASCII is an encoding system for letters on your keyboard that uses seven bits. We can use an eighth bit occasionally, which we call extended ASCII, which doubles the number of possible characters, although that's still far short of what we need for the full set of languages and symbols that we use. Unicode is the same thing as ASCII for the first 127 symbols or characters. And Unicode can support far more characters by using 8, 16 or even 32 bits, which would allow the support for 2,147,483,647 different possible characters. That's a lot of emojis. Now we can try this ourselves. If you open up Notepad on your computer and type the single character A, which we remember is 65 in binary, and then save the file, you'll see that the file size is one byte, which is a full set of eight ones and zeros. 
Now if you do the same thing, but this time hold down Alt and press 1 and you'll get a single character that looks like a little smiley face in Notepad. Save this and it'll need to be saved as Unicode which will result in the file size being 4 bytes, that's 4 times as large, even though it only contains a single character. And that's because Unicode is using 32 bits to store every single character, providing the support for 2 billion possible different characters. So that's the difference between ASCII and Unicode. If you have any further questions, please do leave them below. Uh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.